Do people ever think you've had plastic surgery? They talk about my boobs, but that's about it. Can I check boobs out? Can I grab them with my claws? <laughs> I think they feel real to me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's your name? Amanda. My name is Thomas. My name is Sharam Salami. I am a plastic surgeon. How long have you been doing that? This is my 18th year in practice. Today, you're gonna guess which strangers have had plastic surgery. Okay. Mm, okay. What are your general feelings towards plastic surgery? The only applications I've seen are in like, when popular culture, like, you know, you have a woman with anatomically incorrectly large boobs and butt. I have had my boobs done, I've had Botox, and I've had my lips done a long time ago. Were you happy with the results? Hell yeah, of course. I got the best titties in Seattle as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Not everyone agrees with plastic surgery. You ever feel bad about what you do? I take care of a lot of moms. They've had children and their bodies really changed. It affects their confidence. When they're done, when they're recovered, uh, their emotions are everything from overjoyed, hugs, laughing, to tears saying, I've never felt this good about myself. It's really hard to argue that that is immoral. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's do it, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start bringing them in. Hello. So we'll just like step back and maybe I'll be like, yeah, turn around and come back. Do you mind if I take a close look at you? It's gonna feel like you're a little bit under a microscope. Is that all right? Yes. Okay, can you pull your hair back behind your ears for me? Right. And then can you turn your whole body to the side? Okay, I don't see any incisions back there. Okay. So sometimes when folks have had surgery to their arms, whether it's liposuction or an arm lift, there'll be some sign of an incision on the arm. I don't see that. And then the rest of your body's covered. So now it's about a guessing game. It's to say, is she normally like just, this is her shape? Or did she have something done to augment or reduce the shape? Do you know what the term is for surgery that you would have on your butt? Is there a term for that, do you know of? Um, I think I know what you're referring to, yeah. Are you saying you think I had a BBL? Brazilian butt lift? Yeah. I just think that the thing that would lead me towards if you had plastic surgery would be your butt. I would say, just based on what I'm seeing, I don't see any sign of having had any sort of surgery. I think you had some lipo. Oh, maybe a booty, maybe something like that. What makes you think that? Your tummy's flat, your booty's nice and shaped, but it's not like extreme. It doesn't look extreme to me. It's a partial correct. Uh, Is it a tummy tuck or something? I've had a breast reduction with lift and liposuction on the sides. I went the opposite direction and I went bigger, <laughs> which sometimes I regret because I got booty too and sometimes it's like, mm. How long's it been since you've had the reduction? Almost three years. And you've been happy with it? Yeah. I mean, my posture for years, it was a lot of hunching because it felt like my boobs went everywhere before I did. When I turned 13 and I was a mountain of boobs with a person behind it, it was just a matter of always needing to cover that up and try to be less. Yeah. So yeah. now I feel like a person living in a body rather than a, a body behind a mountain of boobs. You look great. Thank you. You look balanced, you look happy. <laughs> That's the most important thing. Was there a shift in how others perceived you? I'm really confident about my body now, which was absolutely not the case before. There was one time I was on a date and I was making out with a guy and I go, have you ever held $10,000 in your hand before? <laughs> and he said, no. And I said, do you want to? <laughs> well, hi, I'm Sharam Salome. What's your name? Maven, nice to meet you. Maven. Yes, sir. Excellent. Yes, sir. That means I'm old as hell. No, it's just him. Demands power. My first impressions are that you do have plastic surgery. I think you have some redefinition. I think you might have something either in your face or maybe in your chest as well. Though, I do have a question for you. How often do you work out? Three to four times a week. Three to four times a week, dang, yeah. okay. Powerlifter. Were you always this build before? Yeah. Okay, you do not have plastic surgery. Has anyone ever thought you had cosmetic surgery or plastic surgery? Uh, up until today, no. Okay, yeah, we'll spin one way, and then we'll spin the other. I'm not seeing anything at the moment, no. Can you turn your uh, body to the side? So I see a scar back here, uh-huh. Based on the scar, I would probably say you've had a hair transplant. Mr. Maven, am I correct? Correct, you are correct. I had a hair transplant back in 2015. If you can see, there is a scar. Oh, yep. that's right wild. There, right there. Have you been happy with it? Mm -hmm. 
It's really a very high satisfaction operation. Patients love it. And now the, the techniques now are so much more refined. What made you want to get this? 2015, I want to say I was like 19 going on 20. Hair was getting thin. That part of my life, a lot more insecure. For hair transplant surgery, it, does your hair grow or is it just, does it stay? Yeah, so they literally cut this strip of my head out like and like dissected it and then oh. like, I was awake for it. So when they cut into my head, it sounded like Sandpaper. It sounded like. Yeah, ooh, sounded ooh, and ooh, felt ooh, like ooh, sandpaper, ooh, ooh. like rubbing against each other. I <laughs> hate that sound so much. You have no idea. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Sharam Salami. Shelly. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. How old are you? 36. You're 36. <laughs> well, it's what I see is a woman who's uh, beautiful proportions between her upper body and her lower body, and that's something we always try to achieve in plastic surgery. Okay, so I have been tasked at making a physical observation of you. I just want to make sure that's okay. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> does it make you uncomfortable? Yes, it does. I don't want to be creepy or anything like that. No, you're fine. Okay, do you want to turn around? Yeah, you want to do a full circle for me? Ooh, that's hard to tell, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like she's a thoroughbred built girl from here to here. But if there was anything, I would think maybe she got her butt then. I feel as though, if you don't mind me saying, everything seems proportionate. So it seems like it was like a natural kind of growth. Can I check that? Can I grab yeah. them with my claws? <laughs> I think they feel real to me. <laughs> Can I ask you to move your eyebrows up for me like that really hard? Okay and then just squint really, really hard like that, okay. So sometimes when folks have Botox, you, those muscles don't move. I would say just based on looking, no, nothing. I'm gonna say no for right now. My final answer for her is no. I don't think she has any plastic surgery. Am I correct? No. No! <laughs> I've had three. I've three. had a BBL, which is a Brazilian butt lift. I've had a tummy tuck and I've had lipo. Okay, mm -hmm. so dang. I was a very active child and I ended up hurting my butt, jumping in a bouncy house that was inflating. It left like a dent kind of. Just on the I one side that you fell on? Yeah. That does happen sometimes with trauma because the fat in that area that we all normally have on our backsides, it dies. Mm -hmm. And then as you're growing, those cells don't grow. Well, you look fucking great and I Thank love it. You. It's amazing. <laughs> and I want to go get one now too. Right now, I want to get one right now. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hi. What is your name? My name's Brianna. Brianna, I'm Thomas. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So, looking at physical appearance, something's given me that maybe you had some plastic surgery that is less noticeable. I think what you probably would have gotten is something with your face, mm -hmm. because um, like looking at your physical appearance, sure. it doesn't seem that you have um, anything. I don't see anything that like stands out to me that is like, oh my god, like that's fake. Maybe your nose, I don't know. It's really perfect. It's really like, like really straight and nice. Can I touch your nose? Is yeah, that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I'm just gonna touch your nose right here. I felt maybe just the slightest contour there. So sometimes that means someone's had nose surgery. Mm -hmm. That would be the first thought I would have on your okay. nose. I'm gonna say that you do have plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. I think it has something to do with your face. I think you may have had work done. So I'm gonna stick with the nose. Lovely figure. I would wonder, because sure. you're so thin, if you perhaps have had breast augmentation just to kind of balance out your frame. But those are the two things that really jump out of me. Am I right? You're part of the way there. So Partial credit. I'll yeah, take it. so I have had a rhinoplasty. Yes. You have a little scar like right, just barely oh, right here. I don't funny. know if that's from that or this not, but I- This scar is actually totally unrelated. Well, that's what gave it to me. I have not had a breast augmentation, but I'm flattered. They look great. Wow, I, I love being hyped up. <laughs> you should be hyped up. <laughs> the rhinoplasty was actually, I guess, part of a set of procedures of facial feminization surgery. Yeah. Um, the cheeks are natural? <laughs> the cheeks are natural. I've had a trachea shave, which basically reduces your Adam's apple. Okay, yeah. I hadn't I hadn't even noticed that. So are, yeah. are you trans then? Yeah, yeah. Okay, do you feel right. like the surgery that you have done is like good for your self-image? Oh, absolutely. That's it's, good. I'd never before in my life really been able to look in the mirror and feel good about myself. Wow. I never would have even had like the confidence to do something like this, but here I am. That's so sweet <laughs> though, yeah. I yeah. applaud you for that. Awesome, nice, nice meeting, meeting you. Nice you. Hi. Huh. You do have a nice facial profile. Like your facial profile is like perfect. Like Thanks. it's really nice. So right off the bat, I don't see in anything that is readily apparent to me. What is the term for a nose job? I don't know it. I have no idea either. I'm just gonna push on your nose. If that's okay. Sure. Uh, maybe. 
I would say the nose, yeah. Okay. I don't think you had any work done. I don't. You do have a nice face, like perfectly profiled, like it looks nice from the side, from the front, but I don't think you've had any work done. Mr. Gabriel, am I correct? No, no. You're just so perfect, it's just really hard. I'm 6'2 with the hair, my nose is perfect. The surgeon thought I had my nose done, I haven't. I'm not like a plastic surgery pro or anything, but I mean, it's just sometimes you can like tell. Like my boobs are super perfect. And I'm like, they don't actually make them like that. They just don't. So he looks really good, but not perfect. Well, nobody can be as perfect as me. I mean, oh, come on, course, no. Hi, how are you? I'm Sharam Salmi, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I always like to start by asking how old you are. I'm 23. 23, can you raise your eyebrows up for me? Okay, um, and then squint really hard like this, like you're, who is that guy? Okay, and then big grin, okay. So I would say you probably had some Botox. Some of the, the, the muscles of, an, of animation, of facial animation, aren't moving. That's what Botox is supposed to do. It's supposed to relax those muscles so the lines aren't as noticeable. So I can see that. So I'm gonna do a physical examination of you. First, I'm gonna look at your face. I'm seeing nose, I'm seeing rhinoplasty. Do you think anything on my, my body? You didn't really... I didn't ins... You didn't ins... my oh. body. Just, like, analyzing my body make you Nervous? It just makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, like. <laughs> but both you wanted to, to do this. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was actually just called here. They were like, "Hey, do you want to be part of our lineup?" But I signed up to be judged, so that don't makes total don't sense. feel nervous. You think she's had any plastic surgery? Now? I think that if I had to put my money on it, I would say Botox and everything else. I would say probably not. I'm gonna say that you do have plastic surgery, and I think it's a rhinoplasty. I don't have plastic surgery. I have Botox, but I wouldn't really consider it surgery. You're right, it's not a surgical procedure. I mean, you look great. Are you considering anything? Yeah. What are you considering? I lost 100 pounds recently, so I want to get a tummy tuck and like a couple other procedures. Have you had any? Oh, can I have her guess me? Maybe, yeah. I, I, you know, can you guess me? I, can I like do a little I mean, your, your boobs are really big, but <laughs> they look natural. You want to grab them? Just grab them. Okay, wait. <laughs> Are they real? They're not real. They're not real. They're fake. Oh. I keep looking at them and I'm just... <laughs> Now your eyes are just, everyone's just drawn to them, right? They're just drawn. Now you're like, wow, they're nice and they feel good. <laughs> With a show of hands, who did Thomas guess correctly? 50%. 50. That's not too bad. Sort of. Yes. No. No, kind ish, no. Who did I guess correctly? Okay. I did, oh, wow, I did, I did amazing. That was the best today. Cause I'm number one always, come on. You guys knew that before you brought me in here. How'd it go? Oh man, so I was nervous the whole time. I just have a problem with feeling like I'm saying too much or that I'm overstepping. I loved it, it was fun. I'm super pro cosmetic, surgery, anything. Do whatever makes you happy. Kind of the common thing I, I think I've heard is that those who've had something done it's really improved the quality of their life. And there's been a lot of thought into it. I, I think that's really nice to see. I did learn a whole ton today about plastic surgery that I didn't even know beforehand. Did you like Thomas? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, good job. Hi, I'm Brooke. I'm supposed to stay behind the camera because I can't remember a line to save my life. We have two games right now. They're on the shelves at Target. What does Blaine do now? He goes. That was gross.